Head coach for Guiana, Mark Rodriguez. Uh, Captain Ashley Rodriguez. Ashley, tell us about your perception of the match. Um, I think from the player side, it was simple. Um, you know, we had instructions, we had a game plan, and um, <coughs> it just takes a lot of discipline for for the entire team to play and execute what we were told. Um, and I think we did that. I think we did that really well. Um, you know, obviously we were, we were under pressure and we handled that. Um, we let up a few set pieces, but uh, like I said, overall, you know, sticking to a game plan um, and being able to execute that is is um, is a big thing, especially as a player when you're when you're getting instructions. So we're happy with it. Coach, uh, five nil against top opponents like Canada, you you can't be disappointed with such performance. Tell us a little bit about your perception. Did anyone notice how happy I was? beginning of the game, at the hotel, after the game, during the game. That was an absolute brilliant performance. I think a lot of teams around the world are probably gonna wanna copy of that team to see how to learn how to defend effectively. Imagine that, 89th ranked in the world took on the 11th ranked team, World Cup quality team, one of the best teams in the world for the first 24 minutes, kept them off the scoreboard. One or two questionable goals. Take that all into perspective. With the exception of taking off their best player, Christine St. Clair, right? At the majority of times during the game, their best matched, our best matched up with their best. That was absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Yana is so proud of their Lady Jags tonight. So very proud. We have so much to build on, continuing on from this, from where we've come in 2010 to now, and from what we've seen tonight. And we did all of this within the course of a year. We had less than three weeks with the team together over the course of a year. Can you just imagine if we had them for three months, where we would be? So I'll keep smiling. Open up the floor, questions? Coach, where do you go from here in, in the next two games, uh, having put out a performance like that, now going against two opponents that are not quite the stature of, of Canada? Well, the beauty about it is Canada gave us the game we, ex we figured they were going to give us, and it gave us the opportunity to show that when we need to go in into those games, if we can keep Canada to five goals, Think about what we're going to do when we need to do it against those teams. We had 90 minutes of practice tonight. We haven't had that much in a year together. But we had 90 minutes of practice tonight to apply that when we need to. Ashley, talk about building um, you know, camaraderie among your teammates when you don't spend very much time together. and. And I heard the story about how you guys voted on your own team nickname to be the Lady Jacks. Talk about how you come together in such a short period of time and, and feel like a team. Yeah, sure. That's, I think that's an easy one. Um, we look at each other and we see our sister. Um, you know, we don't get a lot of time together, but in the interim, you know, we're always in contact however we can. Um, it's amazing that we can go weeks, months without seeing each other come together three, four days before a tournament like this and instantly just look at each other and, and, and jive um, immediately. I think that's a lot to be said for 20 girls to come together like that um, and just have each other's backs like that. I think the biggest thing is that I know that when I look over my shoulder, I have I have 19 girls that are willing, that, are, that have my back and every one of us can say that and I think that shows on the field and it, and it, it carries over because of how close we are off the field. So we're uh, it's just it's hard to describe but it's it's just an easy feeling with this with this group and, and I think we're lucky to have that.